Joseph John Thompson was born in Manchester, England in 1856. He was of Scottish heritage when his father died at the age of 16. He went to the University of Manchester in 1870 where he started to study engineering. In 1876, he went to Trinity College where he obtained his BA in math in 1880 and his MA in math in 1883. In 1884, he became a senior physics professor at Cambridge University where he taught many students as well as Ernest Rutherford and six other Nobel Prize winners. He married Rose Elizabeth Paget, daughter of George Paget, another professor in physics. He was awarded a Nobel Prize in 1906 because of his experiments with electricity and the discovery of the electron. In 1908, Professor Thompson became Sir Thompson when he was knighted by the Queen of England. In 1912, he was appointed to the Order of Merit. In 1914, he gave the Romains Lecture in Oxford about the atomic theory. In 1918, he became the Master of Trinity College, where he worked for the rest of his life. He died in 1940 and was buried next to Sir Isaac Newton. Thomson's work with the electron was done around cathode ray tubes. He used the cathode ray tube to show how the electron traveled through gases producing electricity and glowing. The gases were contained inside the tube, and then the tube was connected to a battery where electrons would flow from. In his second experiment, JJ tests whether or not his electric field can deflect the rays that are shot at it. Other experiments done prior did not show this was true. Thompson knew they were flawed. He used a cathode ray tube with an almost perfect vacuum, and using phosphorescent paint and negatively charged plates, JJ proves the electric field does bend the rays. Therefore, the gas does have a negative charge. This negative charge was his discovered electron. In Sir Thompson's third experiment, he measures the mass to charge ratio of the cathode rays by finding the amount of energy and the amount deflected. The particles are very light and very charged. He proved cathode rays to contain particles he called corpuscles. JJ thought an atom was made up of these corpuscles, which formed a positive sea of charge. This was his prestigious plum putting model. On the atomic theory. Well, I use cathode ray tubes and charge plates to bend a ray of gas, providing that this gas was negatively charged. I then further investigated and found out that there were subatomic particles not inside the nucleus of the atom. This was then called the electron, and it is now one of the main parts of our modern atomic model. I have been credited for the discovery of this new particle. Where on the inside of the atom does this particle dwell? The so-called electron orbits around the nucleus in its electron cloud, where it attracts the nucleus but never reaches it. They can be as little as one electron in a single atom, or many more, depending on the element. Interesting. How many important experiments did you endeavor before concluding the existence of this electron? My work in the field of physics consisted of three major experiments. I used cathode ray tubes in each experiment to distort the gas with the negative charge of electrons. After extensive research, I concluded that the electron was in fact a truly existing particle. Interesting. What was your educational background before you began to do work in the field? I grew up in England, attending College of Manchester until I, when I was 14 years old until the age of 17, until I was recommended to Trinity College in Cambridge. After my graduation, I became to work as a professor at Cambridge University, located right next to Trinity. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. I wish you luck with your next experiment.